Good evening, Board President Castilla, Board Members and Superintendent Dr. Hernandez. This presentation addresses the Lone Star Governance Monthly Board Report for December 2020. Our intended learning outcomes for this presentation will be the following. Board Superintendent Goals, Vision 2020 Guiding Principles, LSG Monthly Monitoring Calendar, LSG Goal 3 CCMR, and the LSG Superintendent Constraint 3 Teacher Turnover. Now let us look at the Board Superintendent Goals and the Vision 2020 document and the guiding principles. These are the Board and Superintendent Goals updated by the Board of Trustees. Goal 1, focus on student success. This particular goal will be addressed in this presentation. Vision 2025 provides a roadmap for Edgewood ISD by defining mission and vision. The outcome, graduate all students, college, career, and military ready, per their expected date of graduation, is highlighted because CCMR is a major part of this presentation. Our next learning outcome is to review the Lone Star Governor goal number three based on the Board of Trustees approved the three-year Lone Star Governance Monitoring Calendar for 2020 to 2023 on July 28, 2020, according to the LSG guidelines. Let's look at the December and January dates. For December, we will monitor Goal Progress Measure 3.1, Texas Success Initiative, and Goal Constraint Progress Measure 3.1, Teacher Turnover Rate. Next month, we will monitor Goal Progress Measure 3.2, AP and IB. Goal Progress Measure 3.3, Dual Credit Courses. Goal Progress Measure 3.4, Industry-Based Certification. We will also conduct our Board's Quarterly Progress Tractor uh, and address Superintendent Annual Evaluation. Our next learning outcome is to review Lone Star Governance Goal 3 based on our College, Career, and Military Readiness, or CCMR scores, as many of you know it. I would like to remind our audience about our school closures from March 6th to May 22nd for a total of 46 instructional days due to COVID. There has been a loss of instruction, not only in Edgewood, but across the region and the state. We know that our student engagement and participation in virtual lear learning has varied. One of our biggest focus areas has been on the well-being of our students by focusing on their social and emotional needs. Our Lone Star Governance Goal 3, the College and Career Military Readiness Scaled Score, will increase from 61% to 82% by June 2023, based on the Class of 2017 baseline reported in 2018, which was updated in 2019 and is currently in our Vision 2025 document. GPM 3.1, the percent of students meeting Texas Success Initiative criteria in both ELA, reading and mathematics, on any of the assessments, Texas Success Initiative Assessment, SAT, ACT, and college prep courses, will increase from 16% to 25% by June 2023, based on 2017 baseline. Go GPM 3.2, the percent of students meeting the Criterion score on an advanced placement or international baccalaureate examination in any subject area will be increased from 8% to 18% by June 2023. Goal Progress Measure 3.3, the percent of students completing and earning credit for at least three credit hours in English Language Arts or Mathematics, or at least nine credit hours in any subject will increase from 13% to 25% by June 2023. Goal Progress Measure 3.4, the percent of graduates earning an industry-based certificate will increase from 1% to 10% by June 2023. Some upcoming testing dates include the PSAT for grades 8 and 9 on January 25th, the PSAT and MSQT for grades 10 and 11 January 26th, our ACT on December 12th and April 17th, our SAT on March 24th, and our eight Pro AP exams in May 2021. In this next slide, you will see that in 2020, we ended with 15% of our students who met the Texas Success Initiative criteria, and we did not meet our goal of 20%. Our 2021 goal is set at 22%. Currently, we have 23% of our students who have met the TSI criteria. As you can see, 
we have 114 of 506 seniors who have met the TSI criteria in both ELA reading and math at 23%. We have surpassed our goal of 22% for 2022. Our class of 2022, we have 92 students of 629 students who have met the TSI criteria at 15%. Our class of 2023, we have 65 students out of 663 students who have met the TSI criteria at 10%. Our class of 2024, we have 23 students of 750 students who have also met the TSI criteria at 3%. Our reinforcements for Go Progress Measure 3.1 are we have provided more opportunities, more testing opportunities for our students. There has been an increase in TSI reviews and practice, an example during Saturday camp and intercession week. We have provided students with the resources of Khan Academy and tutoring.com that have helped students with practice in areas they are struggling in. This happens at their own pace and it's based on their own needs. Currently, we have 35 seniors who are enrolled in ELA Reading College Prep Course and 9 students enrolled in Math College Prep Course. And now for our refinements are to provide a TSI screener for all 8th grade students. This will allow us to expand the number of students testing and meeting the criteria. We will also increase enrollment in our College Prep Courses. In our superintendent evaluation, we are considering the following. We have met the 2021 goal with 23%. We are on target to meet the 2022 TSI goal of 24% in 2021. We will continue to provide student reviews and practice to meet TSI criteria in both ELA reading and math. LSG Superintendent Constraint 3, Teacher Turnover. Superintendent Constraint 3, the superintendent shall not allow the percentage of the top quartile of teachers leaving the district to increase. Constraint Progress Measure 3.1, the turnover rate of teachers leaving the district will decrease from 26.9% to 21.9% by the end of school year 2022. In 2020, we had 20.9% a teacher turnover rate. We met our goal of 23.9%. Our 2021 goal is set at 22.9%. Currently, we've had a 1% teacher turnover rate. During this time last year, I'd like to report that we were at 2%. There has been a steady decrease in our teacher turnover rate for the past three years. And now for our reinforcements for Constraint Progress Measure 3.1. We have met our five-year go to reduce our teacher turnover rate, the one-time retention incentive, communication from Superintendent Dr. Hernandez, communicating early and often with our teachers, staff, leadership teams, and community. Communication avenues are town hall meetings, Edgewood Excellence newsletter, district website, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram accounts. And as for our refinements, it is to further decrease our district turnover rate of 20.9%, which exceeds the state average of 16.8%. And now for our superintendent evaluation, our superintendent evaluation considerations for constraint progress measure 3.1, we have met our five-year go of 21.9%. Our teacher turnover rate continues to decrease year to year. Our one-time teacher incentive in 2019-2020 and communicating early and often. We are rating this as model. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time in this important matter. I greatly appreciate your time and patience. Thank you.